Hi students, nice to meet you again. I think now we are well set for online class. Keep up the good work. Myself, I am Gopal from Department of Chemistry, Bharathasana Metric Class in High Secondary School, Arakonam. Today, I am going to teach you Unit 7 in 10th Chemistry, Atoms and Molecules and our today topic is what is molecule? You already know about the molecule. The molecule consists of atoms and the atoms present in the molecule is attracted towards itself by the attractive force. The force between the molecule is a bond. So, atoms are held together by bond is called molecule. So, the definition of a molecule is a molecule is a group of two or more elements that are held together by attractive force. So, atoms of the same elements or atoms of different elements can join together to form a molecules. For example, this the CO2, N2 that are the molecules. The molecules may contain same elements like H2 or the different elements like CO2. That molecules may be differ by these types. One is homoatomic molecules and another one is heteroatomic molecules. The word homo represents the word same. So, the same atoms form the molecule that molecule is called as homoatomic molecules. So, the molecules contain the same type of atoms or elements is called homoatomic molecules. So, the word hetero is different from homo by the word different. So, the word hetero represent as the word different. So, different types of molecule, atoms present in the molecule is called as heteroatomic molecules. So, molecules contains different types of atoms which are called as heteroatomic molecules. So, you do know the difference between homoatomic and heteroatomic right. But we can also differ the molecules by its types as monoatomic molecule. What is monoatomic molecule? The word mono represents the number 1. Mono means the number 1. So, if a molecule contains only one atom, it is a monoatomic molecule. If the molecule can contain one atom, yeah, it is possible. For example, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon. These gases are called as noble gases. That means, the gases which do not make a bond with other elements and being unique, so only it is called as noble gases. The noble gases can form a molecule by itself as a single atom. So, this molecule contains only single atom, it is the monoatomic molecule. And we can also see diatomic molecule. The number 2 is represented by the word di, di. You already know that the number 2 is di. So, diatomic molecule contains how many numbers of atoms? 2 numbers of atoms or 2 numbers of elements. For example, HCl contains hydrogen atom and chlorine atom. So, totally HCl contains 2 atoms and CO, carbon monoxide. It also contains only 2 atoms. One is carbon, another one is oxygen. The oxygen molecule, it also contains 2 atoms that is oxygen, another one is also oxygen. Here you see that the molecule may contain same type of atoms or different types of atoms. We only consider the, the number of atoms present in the molecule and not with the same or different. So, this molecule contains 2 numbers of atoms. So, it is a diatomic molecule. So, third one, can you find what is the third molecule? Hamapria. How do we reference the number 3 in chemistry? Tri, right. So, the third one molecule is a triatomic molecule. Good. The triatomic molecule may contain 3 numbers of atoms that may be different or same. For example, here you see carbon dioxide molecule in which we, the number of oxygen atoms present in 2 that means same number of atoms, same type of atoms, but we can differ this as we can differ this 
by the numbers the number of atoms in this 3 but the type of atoms is 2 one is carbon another is oxygen we only consider the number of atoms and not a type of atoms so number of atoms in the molecule is 3 so it is a tri atomic molecule 3 atom consist of molecules so the final type is polyatomic molecules the number poly means many that means more than 3 atoms present in the molecule means that is a polyatomic molecule for example C6H12O6 glucose and sulfuric acid H2SO4 these molecules contains many atoms so it is called as polyatomic molecule. So totally the types of molecules may be monoatomic molecule, diatomic molecule, triatomic molecule, polyatomic molecule and otherwise to dif say different as homoatomic molecule or heteroatomic molecules. So molecules may be in different types by 4 types or in otherwise 2 types. And our today next topic is relative molecular mass. The relative molecular mass is nothing but as like as the relative atomic mass. You know the relative atomic mass. The mass of the atom is relative atomic mass that can be represented with no unit and the relative atomic mass is considered by the carbon 12 atom same like that the relative molecular mass is also the definition of molecular mass is a molecule is the ratio between the mass of one molecule of the substance to 1 by 12th mass of an atom of carbon 12. So the carbon has the mass 12 the mass of carbon 12 is 12 atomic mass unit. So, the 12 parts of carbon contains 12 atomic mass, the one part of carbon contains the one part one atomic mass unit. So, the one atomic mass unit is considered as one part of carbon that is 1 by 12th mass of carbon is the one part of carbon. One part of carbon is equal to one hydrogen the first element. So, second element helium. 2 parts of carbon is equal to helium. So, we can compare the molecular mass. Comparing means relative. The comparing word represents the word relative. So, comparing the molecular mass is relative molecular mass. So, the relative molecular mass of a molecule is the ratio between the mass of one molecule of the substance to 1 by 12th mass of an atom of carbon 12. Here carbon 12 is a standard atom. So, this atom helps us to find the molecular mass of other atoms. See here, here one sum you are given the relative molecular mass for the sulfuric acid you want to calculate the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid is H2SO4 Wait, the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid want to calculate in this molecule we have two numbers of hydrogen. The formula is H2SO4. So, in which we have two numbers of hydrogen and one number of sulfur and four number of oxygen. So, totally we have 2 into 1. You already know that the weight of hydrogen is 1, the atomic weight of hydrogen is 1, the atomic weight for sulfur is 32 and atomic weight for oxygen is 16. So, for can find out the total weight of the molecule, we need to multiply the atoms molecules by its multiplication finally we get 2 into 1 2 and 1 into 32 32 and 4 into 16 64 the answer is 8 9 98 so the relative molecular mass is 98 for 
sulfuric acid HTSO4 molecule. You already know that the relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass has no unit. So you can just write the answer and do not write the unit. The answer is 98. This is uh, one of the question can be asked in IIT and in NEET examination. So you prepare well for this question. Okay. This is another example for relative molecular mass. You want to find the relative molecular mass, molecular mass of water. Do you, are you already know that the water molecular formula? H2O. Now we ask a question, you want to tell the molecular weight of elements. Here we have two numbers of hydrogen and one number of oxygen. What is the atomic weight of hydrogen? Yes, one. You tell me what is the atomic weight of hydrogen? It is the first element in the period table. Yeah, its mass is 1. So, 1 into 2 is equal to 2. Dina, you tell the atomic weight of oxygen. Yeah, the number of oxygen for atomic number is 8, and the number for atomic mass. 16 yeah 16 into 1 16 so totally the water molecules contain the molecular weight 18 so the relative molecular mass of water is 18 now you understand good our next topic is atoms and relative with the molecules we need to compare the atoms with molecules. It is very easy to use comparison. Atoms are unique, say so they are being free and alone and molecules contains a number of atoms. This is the main difference between atoms and molecules. So we go to the next. How do we differ the atoms with the molecules? Atoms being single is called as atom atom combined with the other atoms is called as molecules that may be a same atoms or different atoms and we can differ the atoms and molecules by other way here one child only playing alone and here a family of the child is here this child is in free stem freedom a free state that means he is now free and he has a freedom he can enjoy well but the free state is only suitable for the family only he is not a free state why because the family is satisfied he don't need the others to come in with them because they are satisfied they are well enough in their family but this boy is playing now but after that he wants a family his motive is to attach with the others. So, he is not in free state. So, like that atoms not in free state, the molecules only in the free state. Atoms want to combine with the other atoms to form the molecules. So, atoms is not in free state and atoms in single and molecules are having many atoms. That is the difference between the atoms and molecules. By this way, we can say the difference between the atoms and molecules like this. Atom, an atom is the smallest particle of element and the molecule is the smallest particle of an element or a compound. Compound is the combination of molecules. So, the uh, part of compound is a molecule and a part of element is called as atom. An atom does not in free state, you already know that? the molecules are only exist in free state because molecules do not need to combine with other atoms, but the atoms need to combine with other atoms to form a molecules. So, atoms not in free state and except the noble gases atoms are highly reactive. You see that the boy 
the boy is so reactive and so active but the family is not much as active like that boy the boy only so active like that the atoms only so active so that is a so reactive and molecules are less reactive and the atom does not have a chemical bond but the molecules having the chemical bond the chemical bond only attaches the atoms to form the molecule so this is the difference between atoms and molecules so the atoms are component of element molecules are component of component and atoms not in free state molecules are exist in free state and except the noble gases the helium neon argon is the noble gases except the noble gases atoms are highly reactive because noble gases are non reactive they are non reactive atoms because they do not make a form bond with the other atoms so atoms are reactive without the noble gases and molecules are less reactive not like with the atoms and atoms do not have a chemical bond but if atoms have a chemical bond and bind together to form a molecule so molecules having a chemical bond this is the difference between the atoms and molecules okay students so in today we seen that the atoms and molecules the definition for relative molecular mass so this related questions are given in the study materials in the description the question bank also given you need to complete the self evaluation test for your self evaluation dear parents please make sure whether your students complete the self evaluation and send us a photography for correction thanks for making time to watching this video thank you